There's 40,000 Native Americans that live in the Denver metro area, which most people don't know. And we tend to be spread out all over. We're just scattered to the winds. Terry Bissonette, Indigenous Cause, Gnoje Kaning, Anishinaabe, Indojaba, Makwato Dem. Hello, my name is Terry Bissonette. I am Gonoje Kaning Anishinaabe. I was born and raised here in Denver, Colorado. I am the founder and head of school of American Indian Academy of Denver. We are a brand new charter school that will be opening in fall 2020 with grades six, seven, and eight in Denver Public Schools. Today we're at Talbo Memorial Grounds. It is an open space park that's owned by the city and county of Denver and it is leased or set aside for the Native American community. And we are hosting a family gathering where um, our Native families are invited to come out and participate in different cultural activities. Who wants to do some target practice? All right, who wants to go shoot some bows? Come on me. My name is Steve LaPointe. I'm a cultural advisor for the Denver Indian Academy. You know, I was raised in our traditional ways. I'm a law enforcement instructor, that's my background. So I, I lend my talents and my cultural knowledge and to these kids. And so here today, uh, I'm teaching archery and par fletch making. And uh, we're teaching the kids that, that way they, they know some of the history behind what we're doing. So it's really a, a, it's a chance for our families to get out of the city enjoy being out in nature, and also just have fun. We're gonna be camping out here tonight. Most of my friends are online, but it is, it's a nice break to, you know, sort of unplug for the most part. My mom actually came out to Denver during uh, federal relocation, which was a federal program back in the 50s and 60s to relocate Native Americans um, to encourage them to move to urban areas and move off the reservations. It's hard to stay connected to culture. It's hard to stay connected to family back home. And to be honest, that's really one of the reasons why relocation was created, was to kind of break those ties. And so that's one of the reasons why we uh, need the school and why we've created the school is so that our families can start to become more connected to their culture. I am a certified teacher, I'm an educator. Our focus is on indigenous kids. The Native American students in DPS do not do very well. Uh, the, our graduation rate hovers around 50%. It's a very complicated and complex issue. Um, our history of education, to be honest, has been a very violent one. We were forced um, to go to boarding schools um, for almost 100 years. And when you're a population that goes through that kind of trauma, it kind of sets up just continual, perpetual challenges in being in these school systems. A lot of students across the country who are Native American do not see that their culture is represented in their educational materials. It's really, really difficult and it's a struggle and to know whether we focus our efforts on the little kids who are just, you know, struggling with identity issues, having to be the person in their classroom that corrects their teacher when she says that the pilgrims saved the Indians or speak up in class when their classmate comes dressed as an Indian princess. Are we focusing on those kids or the middle school kids who are learning what it means to be a young adult um, or the high school students? Well, the thing is with the way I grew up, it wasn't necessarily the best. They never really had time to explore any of my sort of ethnic background. So I guess sort of like bridging that disconnect is important to me. Things have been lost, practices have been lost and just certain ways about, the, the ways that we go about living everyday life have, have been lost. And especially the part of identity has been lost. The school can help the kids really reclaim that identity and figure out who they are. Shane Amachiapilo just means my name is Shane. Being part of something bigger than myself uh, is really special. <laughs> Other Native people my age haven't really connected with their culture, but um, I'm glad that my grandpa and my mom have really given me the opportunity. So they become stronger, more self-aware. The different types of hardships that we go through are different than what other minorities go through. So when these kids have each other to lean on, 
it'll make it that much easier for them. And so that is really one of the biggest reasons why we believe these types of schools are so important because they allow our kids to celebrate their culture while also being kids in the 21st century. And that's really, really important. My name is Seneca Wasu Williams II, and I am Denver. My name is Shane, and I am Denver. My name is Steve Lapointe, and I am Denver. My name is Jennifer Wolf, and I am Denver. My name is Dustin Baird. I am Denver. My name is Terry Bissonette. I am Denver.